Welcome to this video. This video explains how to use Abacus explicit in modeling of high speed problems like wave propagation of a blast load in a one dimensional beam. As you can see in this figure, there is a beam and the boundary condition is designed to have a one dimensional wave propagation in this beam during a blast load and we want to model this problem with abacus explicit by create a part we draw a rectangular part the name is beam and the problem is three dimensional and the part is deformable and we draw it by solid extrusion at first we create a rectangle by 0 0.2 meter dimension and then extrude it by 1 meters then we create a material for steel The elasticity property of the material based on Pascal is insert here and an important thing about modeling in dynamic explicit is entering the density because we need the mass for calculations of dynamic problems. Then we create a section and assign the section to the beam and we enter the part in assembly module and then create a step. We create a dynamic explicit step with the name BLAST. The most appropriate step for high speed dynamic problems time period is very important here and we enter the real time of our interest to investigate this problem which is 0.002 this time is very important as you can see in our results in incrementation tab we can define our time increment by the fixed type which needs exact incrementation value but also we can use automatic which the software will, will compute the required amount of a stable time increment then we can go to the load module in this module we assign symmetry boundary condition to all the surfaces to have a one dimensional wave propagation problem x symmetry on both sides of the cube one more time x symmetry in the opposite surface and similarly we define Y symmetry into parallel surface by this type of boundary condition we have no displacement in X and Y direction and we have only displacement in the Z direction we also fix the end of the beam by Z symmetry and now we should apply the pressure of the blast in the other side of the beam by applying a load and type of the load is pressure 
we apply pressure to this surface and the value is 1 e5 but we should apply the amplitude that is shown in this figure as you can see at the first we have a pressure and after a while this pressure will vanish we choose create amplitude and tabular and then we enter 1 in the time of 0 and enter also 1 in the time that you can see in this figure 3.88 e minus 5 and immediately we should vanish the amount of the pressure the load and amplitude will be multiplied and make the pressure on the surface now we can go for meshing the part The mesh type is hexahedral and structure that is okay and the element type is explicit and 3D stress and we use linear and radius integration elements here. Now we can seed the part. For seeding the part our interest is to have 10 elements across the wave at first we can calculate the size of the wave by the speed of the wave in the material which can see here and multiplying this speed to the time of the pressure this is the length of the wave and we want to have 10 elements in the length of the wave the length of the wave is 0 0.2 and we want 10 element in this lens and we use 0 0.02 for the size of the elements now we can mesh the part and run the problem since created files by the software use the name of the job we should enter an appropriate name for the job and we can monitor the progress of the job we can check the stable time increment which is computed by the software for this problem this time increment depends on the wave speed in the material and the size of the elements this size is really small and we need a large amount of increment to solve a problem with large step time but here which our step time is small the number of increment is not so big We can see here that the number of increment is around 700 and the total time as we entered is 0 0.002. Now we can see the results. Here we can see the length of the wave which is divided by about 10 elements as we designed and we can animate progress of the problem the blast load wave start from one side of the beam and reach to the end and come back to the to this side this phenomena can happen several times depending on the time of the step until the energy of the wave dissipates and the equilibrium condition will be obtained thank you guys for watching this video i hope this video was helpful for you 
If you like this video, please let us know by a comment or by subscribe. See you in the next video.